السلام عليكم ميدل 3 اي ام ميسز هبه هاو ار يو اول اي هوب يو ار فيري ويل ليتس كونتينيو يونت 2 اباوت بلين ميرور كونسنتريت ويز مي اوبزرف توجذر بلين ميرور بسم الله Image formation in plane mirror. Objectives. To study the nature of image formed in a plane mirror. We all use a mirror every day to see how we look. You know that we can see our image in the mirror. Let us now study something more about the nature of image formed in a plane mirror. Place a candle in front of a plane mirror. There seems to be another candle placed behind the mirror. The candle placed in front of the mirror is the object. And the candle which seems to be placed behind the mirror is the image formed. On seeing the image, we find that the flame is on top of the candle. This means that the image formed is upright. Now, shift the candle a little. The image also moves. You can find that the image is upright again. Such an image is called an erect image. Hence, the image formed by a plane mirror is always erect. Place a screen behind the mirror. Does the image of the candle appear on the screen? No, it doesn't. You see, we study now the properties of image from, uh, formed from plain mirror. Let's continue. Now, place the screen between the mirror and the candle. Does the image of the candle appear on the screen this time? Even this time, the image of the candle does not appear on the screen. Hence, the image formed by a plain mirror can never be obtained on a screen. Such an image is called a virtual image. Now, place the mirror on a chessboard with an object in front of it. You can see the image of the object formed in the mirror. Count the number of squares between the mirror and the object. There are two squares. Similarly, note the position of image in the mirror. It is at the same distance as the object is from the mirror. Place the object at different distances from the mirror and note the distance of image formation in the mirror. You can see that the image formed is always at the same distance behind the mirror as of the object in front of it. Let us now see an interesting fact related to the image formed in a plane mirror. Stand in front of the mirror. You can see your image formed in it. Now lift your right hand. Which hand seems to be raised in the image? It seems as if the left hand is raised. Again, lift your left hand and observe your image formed in the mirror. This time it seems as if the right hand is raised. This is called lateral inversion. Hence, the image formed by a plane mirror is always laterally inverted. Thus, we have seen that the image formed by a plane mirror is erect, virtual, at the same distance as the object is from the mirror, and laterally inverted. Okay, <clears throat> let's answer some questions. The image formed by a plane mirror is always erect, true or false. Huh? Image formed by a plane mirror, uh, mirror is always erect, true. Okay, next. 
what image can never be obtained by a plain mirror, virtual or real? Taban real. The object and the image are at the same distance from the mirror, the object and the, Im the image. True or false? True, Taban. The image formed by a plain mirror is always laterally inverted. Image formed by a plain mirror inverted? Yes, true. Focal length of a plane mirror is indefin indefin uh, uh, infinite. The focal length of a plane mirror is infinite. True or false? Focal length uh, inf uh, infinite equal uh, constant. Yes, true, because a parallel beam of light incident on a plane mirror is reflected as a parallel beam. It can be said that it converged at infinity. There is, uh, therefore, its focal length is infinite. Let's uh, change to the second slide about curved mirror. What are types of curved mirror? Curved mirrors. Let us discuss here the terms related to the curved mirrors. Center of curvature. The center of the sphere from which a curved mirror is cut is called the center of the curvature of the curved mirror. Point C is the center of the curvature for the curved mirrors. Pole. The center point of the reflecting surface of a curved mirror is called the pole of the curved mirror. P is the pole of the curved mirror. Principal axis. The imaginary line or direction passing through pole P in the center of curvature C of a curved mirror is called the principal axis of the curved mirror. Radius of curvature. The distance between the pole P and the center of curvature C of a curved mirror is called the radius of curvature R of the curved mirrors Focus. The rays of light parallel to the principal axis of a curved mirror after reflection meet at a point on the principal axis in a concave mirror or appear to meet at a point on the principal axis in a convex mirror. This point is called the focus F of the curved mirror. Focal length. Distance between the pole of the curved mirror and its focus is called the focal length of the curved mirror. The focal length F equals the distance between P and F. Remember that the focal length is half the radius of curvature. That is F equals R upon two. It can be assumed that the surface of a curved mirror is made up from a number of small plane mirrors. If a point on the curved mirror is joined to the center of curvature of the mirror, and the line is extended, then this line is perpendicular to the surface of the curved mirror at that point. That is, if point A is joined to C, then AC is perpendicular to the curved mirror at the point A. Light rays incident at a point on a plane mirror get reflected, according to the laws of reflection. As a result, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection at that point. Now, the ray incident at the point A gets reflected in such a way that the measure of angle I equals the measure of angle R. Real and virtual images. If the rays of light incident on a mirror diverge after reflection and on extending backwards appear to meet at a point behind the mirror, then a virtual image is formed. The virtual image cannot be obtained on a screen. This image is formed behind the mirror and is erect. If the rays of light emitted from an object actually meet at a point after a reflection, then the real image is obtained. A real image can be obtained on a screen. A real image is always formed in front of the mirror and is inverted. Okay. So, uh, 
question number one, center, center point of a reflecting surface of a curved mirror is known as center point of a reflecting surface of a curved mirror is known as what of a, curv a curved mirror? Pole, axis, radius, focal point. Taban, pole. P represents B. Center of the sphere <clears throat> from which a curved mirror is cut is known as what of the curved mirror? Center of curvature. Center of the sphere, center of curvature. Imaginary line or direction passing through the pool and the center of curvature of a curved mirror is known as what of the curved focal lens, focal, uh, focal point, radius, principal axis, طبعاً, principal axis. هنا بنعمل revision للconcepts المهمة جداً uh, في lesson ده. The distance between the pool and the center of curvature, يعني P and C. Equal what? Equal, طبعاً, principal axis, center of curvature, focal length, radius, طبعاً, radius. The angle of incidence is what? The angle of reflection equal to. This is law of reflection. The angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection at each point of a curved mirror. The distance between the pole and the focal, the focus of the curved mirror is known as taban focal lens. An image formed in front of a mirror is always what in nature? Taban real. In front of the real. Behind the virtual. A virtual image is always formed behind the mirror, true or false, then less aila, true. Which the following term is, is not related with a curved mirror. Principal axis, focal lens, pool, peach. peach fill listen Next slide, inshallah. Reflection of a concave mirror is the first type of curved mirror, concave mirror. Let's uh, see this video. Light rays from a distant object reflect off the concave mirror, converging at the focal point where an image is formed. If the object is placed beyond the center of curvature, C, the image will be formed between the center of curvature and the focal point. In this situation, the image will appear not only smaller than the object, but also inverted. If the object is placed at the center of curvature, C, the image will be formed at the center of curvature. Although the image will be the same size as the original object, it will be inverted. If the object is moved toward the mirror between the center of curvature and the focal point, the image will now form outside the center of curvature, C. In this case, the image will now be larger than the object but it will be inverted. If the object is moved closer to the mirror and placed at the focal point, the reflected rays will pass parallel to one another without converging and without forming an image. If the object is moved even further towards the mirror, this time between the focal point and the mirror, a virtual image is formed behind the mirror. The image is now upright and larger than the object. طبعاً هنا في الفيديو ده بنعمل ريفيو للإيه للدروينج بتاعنا. إحنا كل حالة من دول رسمناها مع بعض. صح؟ You must draw each uh, step. خلاص. Uh, أهم حاجة position of the object, position of the image. تمام؟ Next slide إن شاء الله. About uses of the mirrors. When we look around, we find that the concave and the convex mirrors are used in many things. Let us learn these uses by clicking on each tab. Okay, let's start about uh, concave mirror. يعني هنفهم يعني يرفلكت يعني إنلارج يعني يقايد كده. The concave mirror 
is a converging mirror used for many purposes. For example, they are used on the front lights of cars and also as a torch to reflect light. The concave mirror is used in shaving mirrors to get an enlarged and erect image of the face. The concave mirror is used also to guide ships and planes in lighthouses that are found at marines and in aircraft landing at airports. The solar ovens that are used for cooking depend on the concave mirror to collect a large amount of solar energy in the focus of the mirror. طبعاً they are the uses of concave mirror reflect in large guide cook. Let's start, uh, let's continue convex mirror. The convex mirror <clears throat> is used as a side view mirror in cars to form an erect and smaller image for the road behind the car. It is used in turning off the road and in parking. It is used in shops and supermarkets for anti-theft. Okay. Next uh, activity. This is activity, تقريبا. Hmm. Exercise on mirror. Question number one. Complete white light ray is a light ray that bounces from the reflecting surface. What light ray? What is the angle between reflected light ray and the normal? Angle of incidence equal what? Angle of taban reflection, show. What light ray is a light ray that bounces reflected ray? I will make only bounce, I will reflect not incident. Angle between reflected and the normal, iba taban angle of reflection. Tab angle of incidence, iba angle between what? Incident light ray and the normal. Angle of incidence equal angle of reflection. This is the first law of reflection. What happens? A light ray in, of, uh, is incident by the angle 35 on a plane mirror. The answer to one, it will be reflected by and uh, the angle of 35 because angle of incidence equal angle of reflection. Concave mirror is called a converging mirror while convex mirror is called a diverging. ده بيعمل collect, ده بيعمل diverge. Because concave collect light rays after reflection, but convex ha huh, diverge. Perpendicular incident light ray, this is very important question. Perpendicular incident light ray on a plane mirror reflect on itself because taban Angle of incidence equal angle of reflection equal ساعتها zero. If I say perpendicular, I say zero. If a person is standing three meters from a plane mirror, imagine yeah, uh, you stay uh, or stand at three meters from a plane mirror. What is the distance between the person and his image? Person and image, not not image and the play uh, mirror, no. يبقى نعمل إيه؟ the distance equal three plus three equal six. If the angle between the incident uh, ray and the reflected ray one hundred forty, this is the angle. Find the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection. طبعاً هما الاثنين أصلاً equal. فعشان كده نعمل إيه؟ divide two. So uh, according to the, the first law of reflection, angle of incidence equal angle of reflection. Uh, let's start. Uh, continue the second example, exer exercises. What is phenomena of light bouncing off in the same medium when it strikes a reflecting surface? Taban phenomena. Ali same medium taban iba yikun e light reflection. A virtual erect and enlarged image can be formed by Taban Hanarisarfin concave mirror. This is the last position, or the last step. What are types of mirror? Plane, spherical, lateral, A and B, Taban, A and B, plane and spherical. 
properties of image deformed over plane mirror, erect and virtual reversed, reversed uh, images size equal object size, all the previous taban, all the previous. This is the plane mirror. Not right or wrong, the incident ray on the concave mirror, which passes through the focus, huh? reflecting parallel to the principal axis taban, right. The last activity. First. What is the phenomena of the light bouncing off in the same medium when it hits the reflecting surface is called? Think carefully. In the same medium, you have to light a reflection. The phenomena of the light bouncing off the same media, or the same media, all the light reflection. Next. From the opposite figure, which angle represents the angle of incidence and which one represents the angle of reflection? Hmm. What is the angle of incidence? This is the, what is the, where is the incident ray? This is incident ray. You have to mean in the direction. This is first observation. The way of or the direction of the arrow. This is incident ray. So the three or four incident uh, angle of incidence, three or four angle of incidence between normal and incident ray. So three is the uh, angle of incidence. This is the reflected ray. So two is the angle of reflection. If a three and two. When a light ray falls on a reflecting surface, the angle between the incident ray and the reflection surface is 35 degrees. So calculate the angle of reflection and the angle between the incident ray <coughs> and the reflected ray. Be accurate. All of these uh, questions we can answer by understanding the direction of arrow. Bas. This is the direction of arrow. Fall, the fall on the surface, reflecting surface. This is a uh, incident ray. This is reflected ray. This 35, all of this, the normal and the surface, 90, 90 minus 35 equal 55. Uh, and the angle, the one incident ray and reflected ray, incident ray, this is 55, this is 55 because the first law of reflection, angle of incidence equal angle of re reflection, 55 plus 55 equal 110. If the angle between the reflected light ray and the reflecting surface equals 40, the angle of incidence will equal 60 degrees. What do right you think? Taban, in a D40, but D taban A, 90 minus 40 equal 90 minus 40 equal 50, okay? So the angle of incidence, I get 51 equal 60 or 50, yeah, but this is wrong. Or well, really 60, this is wrong. Let's change the slide about, uh, we will, we finish mirror. Lens is equal, in a, same, same mirror. Lenses. <laughs> Objectives. To understand the formation of a convex in a concave lens. And to understand how these lenses work. Convex lens. Arrange two prisms so that the rectangular rough surfaces are facing each other. The parallel rays incident on the prisms emerge on the other side after refraction and intersect at a point. Insert a few more slabs of rectangular prisms between the two prisms. The parallel rays incident on such an assembly will undergo maximum refraction at its top and bottom. The rays undergo no refraction at the center of the lens. Now, if we arrange two more prisms at the side of this arrangement, then the incident rays emerging from them also converge at the same point. 
a single piece of glass formed in this fashion, is called a convex lens. We can consider these equally curved surfaces of the lens to be small parts of spheres. The center of these spheres is called the center of the curvature of the lens. The radius of the spheres is known as the radius of curvature of the lens. The line joining the center of curvature on both sides of the lens is known as the principal axis, which passes through the optical center of the lens. The light rays parallel to the principal axis and incident on one side of the lens undergo refraction and converge at a point on the principal axis on the other side. This point is called the focal point or focus of the lens. The distance from the optical center of the lens to the focal point is called the focal length of the lens. The focal length of the lens depends on its curvature. Take two lenses of the same diameter, but of different thickness and hence curvature. When the parallel light rays are incident on them, you can observe that the light rays passing through the thick lens undergo more refraction and get converged at a shorter distance, as compared to the thin lens, which causes less refraction. So we can observe that the thick lens has a shorter focal length than the thin lens. The image formed by the convex lens in this case is a real image of an object. The convex lens can focus the light from the sun to a point on the other side of the lens. The concentration of light energy at this point causes the paper to heat up and burn. The lens in a human eye is convex in nature. We should not look at the sun directly, as it can damage our eyes permanently. Hence, we have understood that the rays of light incident on a convex lens get converged on the other side. So it can also be called a converging lens. Let us look at another kind of lens, which diverges the light rays passing through it. Concave lens. Place two prisms with their vertices in contact and arrange a few slabs of rectangular prisms beside each of them. The parallel rays of light falling on such an arrangement refract away from the center. Overall, we can see that the light undergoes divergence and it emerges on the other side. A single piece of glass formed in this fashion, having inward curvature, is called a concave lens. The parallel rays of light incident on the concave lens undergo divergence as they emerge on the other side. If the divergent rays are extended backwards then, they appear to meet at one point on the principal axis on the same side of the object. This point is called the focal point of the concave lens. The sun viewed from a concave lens would appear as a point. If you place a paper at this point, it would not be heated. The image formed in this case is a virtual image. The concave lenses are used to correct short-sightedness in people suffering from myopia. A concave lens is also used in the people. Myopia, uh, it means short, uh, shortness, short sight, yeah. ...of doors to get a minimized image of the person mm -hmm. on the other side of the door. To summarize, we have understood that 1. Light rays parallel to the principal axis and incident on one side of the convex lens undergo refraction and converge at a point on the principal axis on the other side. 2. The focal length of thinner lens is greater than that of the thicker lens. 3. A real image produced by a convex lens is formed on the other side of the object. 4. The parallel rays of light incident on a concave lens undergo divergence as they emerge on the other side. And five, the concave lens produces a virtual image that is an image formed on the same side of the object. Okay, <clears throat> let's answer some questions together. First question, who can answer if two prisms are so placed that their rectangular surfaces 
are facing each other. They together act like what lens? Two prism. Mm. Convex, concave, compound, mirror. Convex or concave? This is prism. Convex or concave? If we ch uh, choose concave, not convex. Okay. When two prisms are placed in such a way that their rectangular surfaces are facing each other, they will act like a convex lens. Traveling rays uh, par uh, parallel to the axis. Rays parallel to the axis of the convex lens. Meet what of the lens? Meet at the center of curvature, at the focal point between F and 2F. 2F, it means center of curvature, C. At two or distance, we can add one to or two. At the center of curvature or at the focal point, at the focal point. The radius of curvature of a lens is defined as the radius of a sphere of which the lens is a part. True or false? Radius of curvature defined as the radius of the sphere which the lens is part. Taban true. Focal length of a lens is what the radius of curvature. Half focal length half the radius. Uh, if we start with radius equal focal length uh, multiplied by two. Yeah. Line joining the center of curvature of both sides of the lens is called huh? axis pool focal point mean light. It called axis. Convex lens are what in nature? Diverging, converging, taman, converging. Because it's collect light rays falling on it. The focal lens of a thinner lens, uh, focal lens of a thicker, longer or, uh, or greater or smaller, taman, greater. The concave lens are used to obtain what image of taman real or virtual, virtual, Next slide, activities, time for uh, fun, interest, and uh, answer taban nafs Previously, we learned some concepts related to the spherical mirrors. They are similar to concepts related to lenses. Here, we need to drag and drop the correct concept to its corresponding image. طب هنعمل دراج هنا where is focal lens طب هنجرب تمام this is focal lens no this is focal lens the yes. focal length of the lens is the distance between the focus and the optical center of the lens the distance between focus and uh, and the center of uh, center of the lens what is optical center? Optical center? Huh? Here, Masa? Huh? The optical yes. center of the lens is a point inside the lens that lies on the principal axis in the mid distance between its faces. Center of curvature? What is the center of curvature? This? No. This? No. The center of the curvature of the lens is represented as follows. The circles which form the lens surface, their center is the center of the curvature of the lens's face. Concepts, very important concepts in this lesson about lens. Focus. The focus of the lens is the point of collection of refracted light rays in the convex lens or the point of collection of the extensions of refracted light rays in the concave lens. Radius of curvature, this or this? Radius, the distance between the pool or any point and the center of curvature. The radius of curvature of the lens's face is half the diameter of the sphere that the face is a part of. The last one, principal axis. 
The principal axis of the lens is the straight line that joins the two centers of curvature of lens passing by its optical center. Thank you for your effort. Now we delivered each concept about the spherical lenses to the correct place. Okay, next activity. <clears throat> After we learned the related concepts to the spherical lenses and noticed the relation between them, here we will do some practice on these concepts. Start to read each question carefully, then complete with the answer. The radius of the following convex lens is 16 centimeter. Calculate the focal length of this lens. Focal length equal half radius. Uh, divide 16 divided 2 equal 8. Number 2. If the focal length of a convex lens is 11 centimeters, find the diameter of the lens. Diameter. Mm. Focal length equal 11, diameter 44. In each type of lenses, convex or concave, the focal length equals half of the radius. So the radius equals two times focal length. Okay, next, next slide. Images from lenses. <clears throat> Images formed by convex lens. Objectives. To study the nature of image form due to a convex lens. To see its practical applications. For the sake of simplicity, in studying about the images formed by a convex lens, we will use a linear object like a candle, kept perpendicular to principal axis of the lens. A ray emitted from top S of the candle travels parallel to principal axis and reaches the lens at point P. Then it deviates to pass through the focal point F of the lens. Another ray from the top of the candle passes through optical center O of the lens and travels straight to intersect with the previous ray at a point S dash. An image is formed at this point where two rays coming from the object intersect each other. Hence, we have seen how an image is formed in a convex lens. But the image of an object changes depending on the object's distance from the lens. Firstly, when the object is positioned at an infinite distance, rays coming from the object will be parallel to each other. These parallel incident rays can be of two types. One, these rays can be parallel to principal axis of the lens. And two, they may not be parallel to principal axis of the lens. In the first case, parallel incident rays, after having passed through the lens, get converged to intersect at principal focus F on the other side of the lens. Due to this, a real, inverted, and highly diminished image is formed at the focal point. This type of image formation can be seen when we use a magnifying lens to burn paper. When parallel rays from the sun undergo refraction, they can be converged at principal focus on the other side of the lens, and when the radiations of sun are focused onto a paper kept under the lens, it gets burned. Next, in the second case, parallel incident rays from the object do not converge exactly at the focal point, but at some point S dash in the focal plane on the other side of the lens. And due to this, real inverted and diminished image is formed at the point S dash. This type of image formation is used in an astronomical telescope where parallel rays from a distant object, after passing through convex objective lens, get converged at its focal point. Secondly, if the object is positioned somewhere between infinity and twice the principal focus 2F1, 
then incident rays from top S of the object having passed through the lens get converged at a point S dash between F2 and 2F2 on the other side of the lens. Here, the image is real, inverted, and diminished. This type of image formation is used in a camera where the rays coming from an object, which is not very far, pass through the convex camera lens converging at a point between F and 2F on the other side of the lens <coughs> and passes on to the photographic film. Hence, the image gets captured onto the film. Okay, let's answer some questions. The image of an object remains the same on varying the distance of the object from the lens, true or false. Image on, of an object remains the same on varying the distance. Yani, any distance, the image is the same, I get false, yeah. Next, when an object is at what? The ray is coming from it or parallel to the principal axis, coming from the focus, the optical center in uh, infinity, None of the above, Taban infinity, parallel to the principal axis. When an object is placed at 2F1 at a, uh, of a convex lens, the image is formed at F, at 2F. Akid, the object and 2F, Akid, the image is on 2F. It's a center of curvature. In a terrestrial Telescope, the convex lens is also called the what? Real lens, diverging, erecting, compound, erecting lens. In terrestrial telescope, the convex lens is also called erecting lens. When an object is placed between 2F and F of a convex lens, the image is formed enlarged, real, diminished, virtual, taman between enlarged. In which is the following of a convex lens not used? Slide projector, terrestrial telescope, astronomical telescope, a pinhole camera. Here, pinhole camera. In a slide projector, the slide is placed uh, beyond 2F of the convex lens. Taban deep cone falls. When an object is placed near F, of a convex lens, the image is formed magnified. Imta al wahida bitkun magnified bitkun near the F. Next activity. Next, bringing the object closer to place it at point 2F1 causes the image to move further and it can now be seen at point 2F2. Here also, the image is real and inverted, but its size is the same as that of the object. This type of image formation is used in a terrestrial telescope. Here, a convex lens is kept between the objective and eyepiece. It is called an erecting lens. Here, the image to be erected is positioned at 2F of this lens. As the light rays pass through this lens, they converge to give an erect image of the object at 2F on the other side of the lens. Next, on further moving the object closer to the lens, so that it is positioned between 2F1 and F1. And etc. Yani and Gambia. Next column. In terrestrial telescope, the convex lens is also called what? This Ilian Drwati. Real lens, diverging, erecting, uh, erecting. When an object is placed between 2F1 and F1, the same, the same questions. The third activity. Images formed by concave lens. 
Objective. This is the next type of lens. First convex, this is concave. To study the nature of image formed due to a concave lens. <laughs> We have already seen the formation of image by using a convex lens. Now replace the convex lens with a concave lens. Place a candle at any point between infinity and the center of the lens O. A ray is emitted from top of the candle S. This ray travels parallel to the principal axis and reaches the lens at point P. The ray gets diverged through the lens, but on producing backwards, it appears to intersect F2 at the focal point. Another ray from the candle passes through optical center O of the lens. This ray intersects the previous ray at point S. Dash. A virtual, erect, and diminished image is formed at this point S. The image is formed on the same side of the lens as the object. Now, shift the candle to an infinite distance from the lens. The rays approaching from the object are parallel to the axis. They get diverged through the lens, but on producing backwards, they appear to meet at F2. A highly diminished virtual and erect image is formed at F2. The image is diminished to a point, and again the image is formed on the same side of the lens as the object. Thus, we can conclude that the image... Okay. Let's change the slide. The last slide, inshallah, because time uh, out. <laughs> Some questions, uh, the person who suffers from short sightness can see what objects, short or long or near? Huh? Near, because he has short sightness, okay? He can see near object. The person who suffer from what can see far object long sightness. Uh, convexity of the eye lens increases in what short sightness. The incident ray passing through the optical center of the lens passes through the focus without refraction, without re refraction, no correct. Passing through the optical center. Huh? طبعاً passing without refraction. Center of curvature of the lens. Uh, fact is the center of the sphere where this face is a part of it. طبعاً right. A concave lens is used to treat what? طبعاً أكيد short tightness. The lens has what center of curvature? Two. The last questions, the optical piece, which is thin at the center and more thick at the tips, taban concave. Seeing the four objects, taban long sightness, it is a vision defect through which near object can be seen clearly short sightness. Thank you very much, uh, middle three. Thank you very much. Uh, see you next time, inshallah. Study hard. And I'll forward you the homework uh, on the uh, WhatsApp group. Thank you. Goodbye, Middle Three. Mama.